opening statement, and we're going to open it for questions. Man, what a, what a great uh, Division II basketball game. Uh, you know, Tyler obviously is extremely well coached. They've got really good players, uh, play really, really hard. Um, and I thought we kind of fought tooth and nail with them for a majority of the game, gave up some offensive rebounds in the second half that I think uh, kind of hurt us quite a bit in those positions when you give up multiple offensive rebounds. Um, again, had to give up some three-point plays, but at the end of the day, we got to make shots. You know, I thought we had some good looks at times, um, whether it was a three-point shot or whether it was kind of a mid-range. And so um, proud of our effort, proud of how hard we played, um, and we'll just look forward to the next opportunity. Okay, Coach, first question. Like I said, UT Tyler, obviously, you're a really good team, 16-2 in conference. Now you have to turn around on Saturday and play Texas women's ranked, obviously, coming into our house. How do you talk to the team in the locker room to get them ready for that game on such a quick turnaround? You know, it goes back to our philosophy within our program and, and everything that we talk about. We just want to go 1-0. and Obviously, today it didn't go our way. Tomorrow we'll prep, get better. We'll go 1-0 and tomorrow, watch some film, uh, prep for TWU, and then um, our main focus, honestly, will be tomorrow and uh, watching film tonight and, and prepping for TWU, and then maybe I can answer that question on Saturday. Now, uh, Coach, in terms of you said fighting tooth and nail for a game, this was one heck of a basketball game. 11 lead changes seven times tied throughout the game. If you can hold kind of this game and only losing to 10 <coughs> only road to Texas women's, what does it say about your squad and how they've developed throughout the year? You know, I, th I think we have a really talented team. Um, you know, I think that we can play with anybody in the conference. Uh, I think that we've shown we can play with team in the conference. It's just a matter of us continuing to work on our consistency uh, on both ends of the floor. We, we have lulls where we play well, and then we take a bad shot that leads to something else. Um, and then it sort of just snowballs on us. But, uh, you know, I, I really felt this was a, a conference tournament type game, the, the intensity and, and uh, you know, two really good teams. And so we just got to bottle up our, our good minutes um, and just get better at our bad minutes. Talk about it a lot almost every game. Mia Rivers, eight points tonight, seven assists, eight total rebounds, and also four steals. Just how important is she to the team when she's on the floor? You know, Mia's been here with us for four years. She understands the program. She understands what we're trying to do. She's played a lot of these teams. Um, you know, she just continues to be a, a spark plug for us on both ends of the floor. And so, you know, I don't, I don't worry that Mia's going to have a number of assists. Uh, you know, she, she's talked about she's surrounded by really good players that knock down shots. She does a good job of facilitating getting them the ball. And so, um, you know, we'll all learn from this. You know, I know she'll learn from this, and uh, we'll get better on Friday. Coach, outscoring the opposition on the bench tonight, how important is depth in your lineup? You know, we play a number of players, and a lot of times it comes down to matchups. Sometimes one player will come off the bench, and they're just playing better than maybe somebody who started, or we have a number of players coming off the bench that – that's playing, and so it, it helps to have a number of good players um, that come off the bench and, and can be spark plugs. Ina's kind of done that for us lately. Uh, Shelby's kind of done that for us lately. You know, Janessa comes off the bench with 11 points, three for five, and, and those are things that she does, and she understands her role. Um, but you know, we'll continue to do that as as it goes on, just because of our depth and, and the players that we have. Um, I didn't like that we got outscored in the paint quite a bit. Um, I thought we settled for a lot of shots. Um, but again, a lot of that is is just you know, UT Tyler, again, is, has good players. Uh, last question, Coach. So the atmosphere for these past couple of games, and including this week, has been crazy with all the promotion that are being run. And I heritage night tonight, senior night coming up on Saturday. Um, well, how important is this home crowd to you guys? You know, we always play well at home. Uh, and, and we have, over the years, uh, developed a really good following of, of fans that, that come and enjoy watching our players play. It also helps when parents, obviously, are driving. Uh, to watch our, our players play. So, um, you know, senior day is always kind of a, a bittersweet day. You know, this, is a, this will be one where we have a number of seniors that signed with us four years ago and have been a part of our program, have helped it grow and turn the corner, um, and we're continuing to do that. But, man, just excited for them and their growth over the last four years and what they've represented as far as our, our community, our university, and our basketball program. And, and uh, you know, just excited to watch them play a couple more times. We've got a lot of basketball left to play, and uh, we'll focus on tomorrow moving forward. Uh, thanks, Coach. Thanks. Appreciate you.